<clears throat> okay, next step is to um, attach the plastic to the frame. Now, a lot of people will use clamps around the edge here, um, spring clamps of one nature or another. I haven't had much luck with that. When you get this thicker plastic uh, and you go down for your pull, it tends to pull away and then give you a leak and then you don't get a good pull. Um, plus, the way with my oven set up, if I put clamps on here, then it's not going to fit me up. So, uh, what I do is I've got a power staple gun. And uh, we're going to staple this around and uh, adhere it to the frame with staples. I'm using quarter inch staples. This gun will do quarter inch and 5 sixteenths. If I'm going to the 90,000s, I'll use the 5 sixteenths, but quarter inch will suffice for here. So, we've got a couple little sticks here, stick coating on them here. Simplest way to do that, hit it with the air gun, get it started, and just pull it down. The other side. Now that creates a lot of static naturally, and if you're not in a dust-free environment, which most of our shops are not, you're going to get a few pieces of dust on there. But you just uh, hit that with the air gun, that pop right off of there. Okay, so make your piece, lay it down. Now plastic, this PETG, has a very hard surface to it. And many times you'll find it's hard to get the staples to go in because they've got to break that surface tension. So what I do is I use a monocoat heat gun to, to heat the plastic just to get it a little bit soft. Oops, I hope that didn't uh, mess up our video. To get a little bit soft. Let me check that just to be sure. Yeah, it's still pretty high. I need to get get this thing set up on my laptop so I can get it over here and see it and frame it up easier. It makes it a little easier. But um, so as I was saying, we'll, we'll just heat this up just to soften the surface a little bit, and then we'll uh, put our staples on. Now, you're going to put, like, uh, in this length, which is, like, 15 inches, I'm going to put one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten staples. You only want them about this far apart because you find if you get them too far apart, when you do your pull, the uh, plastic will pull away from the inside of the staples and give you an air leak. So you want to get them as close as you can to, to prevent that. Speed up. Safety on. See, I got two shots there. Okay. Heat this up. That's the way it's supposed to work.
Didn't take much heating on here, just enough to break the surface in there. Okay, here we go, all the way around. Now, the areas where you get the double, or sometimes triple, now like this one, I don't know if you can see this, the staple's sticking up a little bit, and a couple of them are up just a little bit, so... What we want to do, get our hammer, and add this over here. Get our hammer, find the one that's sticking up. I've got a steel block here for vacuum. And then we just want to. Give that a couple of good wax. Pull that right down. Okay. I think there was one more on here. I thought I saw two. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now, once you got this on the frame, of course the static's going to get a little more dust on here again. So. Pull this off. On the bottom side, everything from the table comes up on it. Blow that off. What I like to do then is stick a soft paper towel, get a little bounty. This is uh, sunshine plastic cleaner with an anti-static additive to it. And we'll just spray that down. Like that nice and clean. This is the side that's critical because this is the side that's going to go on the plug. And we'll wipe that down. We don't want anything on top of that. And then I'm going to wipe this, which is actually the top side of the plastic. Okay. Okay, now at this point, we will uh, take this and take it to the vacuum former and uh, do a vacuum form. So um, I'm going to stop the video. We're going to conclude all this with, uh, as one as part one. And then when I get a chance tomorrow to get the set up up there in my wife's kitchen, uh, we'll get ready uh, to vacuum form and pull uh, a plug. Thanks, guys.